All right, hey guys, it's Markle. Welcome back to the uh, Crazy Lays Racing League here for NR 2003 Season 2 1996 cars this year. Uh, we are at race four here at Daytona. Um, going into this race, your points leader is Ben Park, 73 over Josh Harmon. Adam Garner, 82 back, tied with James Bush, who won the last race. Uh, Daniel Voiles is 94 back in fifth. And as you can see, the rest of it, Lingerfeld up here uh, in sixth. <coughs> Max Server 7th, Christian Brock in 8th, Michael Hodak, or Mitch Hodak in 9th, and 10th is Andy Thomas. I'm going to bring up the driver's list, and then give me one second, and we'll be all good to go. <coughs> I'm still a little stuffy and have a cough, but we are sounding a lot better here today. Uh, let's get on to Daytona. We have 50 laps here. Only second and last super speedway of the season. A little dark, but it's oh well. Drivers, Drivers to your, to your cars. cars. We'll accelerate their quality. It looks like Devin Smith and pull over Angel Gutierrez, Ruth Schaefer, Lyle Lawson, Ed Shearer, Emerson Arden, Carlos Gutierrez, RJ Bishop, uh, the 22 of Matthew Hubert, and Dylan Matthews, I think, right, from the 75. Yep, Dylan Matthews. In the 75, and then coming from the back, you got Ernie Rodriguez, Devin Zimmerman, Adam Garner, Troy Salter, and Jesse Adams, your bottom five drivers. And let's get on into it. And as for the points leader, uh, Ben Park in the 24, he is starting 18th. Happy hour, see how everybody else is doing together. Looks like Lyle Austin got a good draft. Sam Osgood had the happy hour fastest lap. Well, let's get on into the race here. For 50 laps. Drivers here to your car. Looks like everybody is good. Nobody has car problems. Should be good to go here from now. Okay, here we go. Just make it sure it's recording. I feel like Devin Smith has been up here quite a bit in the first four races in the 94. There's everybody else. Angel's been up there a little bit. Carlos in the 71 has. And a couple of the other guys are towards the back or mid pack right now. And we'll see how Daytona goes here. It's an equalizer for everybody. But I do random ratings, so either way, everybody has an equal, should have an equal chance, but random ratings is random ratings. Pace car pulls off. We are green here at Daytona for lap 50 laps here today. Devin Smith gets off to a good start on the bottom, and he's going to clear the 25 easily. As they slowly get up to speed here with Reese Schaefer on the bottom and the 17 being pushed by Ed Shearer in the 9. 71 for Carlos Gutierrez is also up here. As long as they keep it double file for the most part, I don't think we'll have any wrecks. Three wide should be okay at this track too. Here comes Reese Schaefer now to the inside. A Devin Smith for the race leader had to get pushed by the nine edge here. So we got some three wide in the back. Looks like Sokolov and the seven back there is three wide already. Looks 
there. Bowen Adams in the 43, unfortunately. All the way up top. Got shafted to the outside line. And there's a lot of ground here. Reese Schaefer hanging out to the race lead, being pushed by Ed Sheeran in the nine. It was double foul from second or fourth on back. Looks like the 22. And Matthew Huber is going to make a move to the inside of Carlos Gutierrez for third place. Is Ed and Reese. Now working together pretty good at the front. And there's a lot of three wide towards the back of the pack. They're almost four wide back here. Don't want to do that here at Daytona. They get back to three wide. Michael, or yeah, Matthew Hubert, looking for the race lead in the 22. Underneath Ed right now for second. Ed's going to fall back as he got shafted to the high line a little bit. 22 of Matthew Hubert getting pushed for Carlos Gutierrez and 0 of Sam Oscon. Justin Perez in 11, the 10 of Michael Hoax. Back there also on the bottom line. Reese got shafted up and the 22 is going to try to lead a lap here. Will he get to the line though? That's around the back straightaway. Or will somebody else try to take the lead before he leads one? They're going to go three wide almost for the race lead. Right now, just for a second, the 22. And Matthew is going to hang on for the moment. Three wide up here. The 22, and Matthew Hubert crosses the line. He's going to lead left and get five bonus points here. There's a lot of shuffling going on back here. It looks like they're almost four wide again. Can't have that happen. That's not going to be good. Justin Perez now up in the second and the bottom line in the 11. Getting pushed by the 10 of Michael Hoax. In the 75, Adele and Matthew is also up there. Josh Fox in the six, not having a good year. He's towards the bottom of the points. Perez got shot to the high line. He's losing ground now on the high line. The curvator belt is in progress. That's how I like to call it. I don't think anybody's lost the draft yet. Nope, Devin's the one very close to. But he's got a couple cars he's drafted with towards the back. Uh, last week's winner, James Bush, not having a good day, but he's all the way towards the back of the pack. Here comes the 10, tries to block the 75, can't, does not have a run. Waited too long to block the 75. And Michael Hoax is going to get shafted through the high line there. He's going to fall back. The 15 now in third place with Skylar Taylor there. 21 to Kenny Campos and 88 to Colin Crapley. The 15 to Skylar Taylor put the 75 up. The 15 might be going for the race lead here if they have enough of a run. 22 can't block it. Three wide for third place. <coughs> Skyla Taylor trying to go for a lap lead here today in the 15. Here comes the 30 now, also on the bottom line. Of Daniel Voiles getting pushed by the 98. RJ Bishop here. And the 88 of Crawford now going for the race lead. As he goes directly to the high line, he does. Will the 30 of Voiles be able to get to his inside? No, he will not. Crawley's going to lead this lap. And I'm thinking with two times fuel, they'll either have to pit around 20 and 40 in this race, I would think. I think the first test I did here, they had to go around 16, so we will see. Looks like the 98 of Arjun Bishop as Voiles goes to the top is not going to be able to block that 98 to run. 98 of RJ is going to go to second place. Getting pushed by your points leader, Ben Parker, the 24, now finding his way up to the front. He wants to lead a lap and try to extend his points lead. 
Here comes RJ Bishop to the inside at the line. Probably will still lead that one. Just by a little bit. It looks like they are getting spread out towards the back. Jaden Bush just hanging on with the 12 of uh, Bobby Santos, Kazi, 33, Zimmerman, Troy. All not having good days here in Daytona. All almost losing the pack. As we go back towards the front. Actually, something happened. Grappley got put way three wide up top. Allowed RJ to get to the lead for a second. But here comes Ed now in the nine up front. Ed now to the race lead with the zero of Sam Oscon. And now the 77 of Matthew Stoner up here. I haven't seen him up here all day. The seven of Sokolov also looking to get up here with the one of Dan Park. 28 of Jesse Adams also on his way through the field. On that bottom line. That's a little bit single foul towards the front. We got four cars past that uh, second line. Five if you count the one to Dan now. Sokolov looks to the inside by himself. Gets side by side with the 77. He's going to go up in the third. <coughs> Sokolov now looks to the inside of the zero. Sam Oscon goes high. Sokolov now up in the second. Ed leads another lap. Looks like they're definitely three wide back there. Not quite four yet. Can Sokolov get around this nine car? Max Service in 81 up here. Josh Harmon now following up here. 31 of uh, Mitch Hodak. Who's won a race this year is up here. Josh Harmon in the 87 has been close. Has had a quite a good average finish this year. So he's top five in the points, I'm pretty sure. The top ten. 99 of Malico, and they're having quite a good year, but he's up there in seventh in line in the bottom. And like six guys are all in a line now up front. Go to the back. 23 of Andy Thomas, and I have a good time. Trying to get back into the draft. It's a lot of single file towards the front now. There's about eight. And yeah, no, it's about seven cars now past the second line. But here comes Jesse Adams in 28. Goes to the inside of the seven. Head in the nine. Blocks again. Nine car kind of knows what he's doing. But here comes Max Service now in 81. What will he do? Well, him or Jesse Adams try to go around the nine. The nine blocks, though. Ed Shearer really wanted to win here at Daytona. Max gets shafted to the high sign. Jesse Adams by himself behind the nine as they pull away just a little bit here from the pack. It's going to be three wide almost for the third position. It's going to be three wide for the fourth position now. Malico making that happen. The 99. Jesse Adams all by himself. The 87 is going to have a huge run here. Where, where is he going to go? Him and the 99 will both have a good run. Harmon goes for the inside of the 28. With help from the 99. Can't quite get those inside. They both block him off. Single file now. Six cars deep. The 30. Daniel Boyle's back there. Also cleared them. He's actually the seventh car in line. 25. Angel Gutierrez. Now goes to the inside of the 99. It's a single file up towards the front of the field. I think they're getting close to pit stops maybe. We'll go towards the back to 42. Lyle Austin not having a good day. Justin Perez fell all the way back here. Same with the 22 and Cropley. All were up front. A lot of shuffling going on here at Daytona. We'll go sit towards where the vitals are. Emerson Urban in the floor. Trying to have another good day here. He had a good one in the first race of the year at Vegas. But has had a abysmal last two races. Had no hood in the last race at Martinsville. 
but I think he got the finish at least, so that's key for him. The top seven pulling away as they're three wide behind these two. We're hitting lap 16 here now. <clears throat> Malenko on the 99 making a move to the inside of Jesse Adams. He thinks he has the car to be up here and challenge the 9 to Ed Cheer for the race lead. He's getting pushed by Bone Adams, and both Adams are up here. Father and son. Here comes Emerson Arden now in the 4, also having a huge run with uh, Angel Gutierrez on the 25. Emerson now gets shafted to the high side by the 25. I think Mal's pitting. Yep, lap 16. Mal is going to pit. And we're going to stay with Ed for when he pits since he led the last good, I want to say like five laps. Is he going to have anybody to come down with? It has Emerson, Jesse, and looks like the 97 of Bear Compton back there also. We'll see where the nine comes out compared to those guys. <clears throat> it should be a two-stop race, so they should pit one more time around lap 32 to 34th. Here comes Ed. Looks like he is going to pit, unfortunately, all by himself. He's got people behind him, but it depends on his stop and their stops. It's like four tires. Unless I missed it. I was looking at my phone. Yep, it looks like two tires, right side only. Ed, or Ed had a bad stop. The 28 almost passed him with Jesse Adams. Now we get to wait and see where do people come out compared to him. It looks like only Adams is very close. But what about the people on track that have already pitted? Are we in no, you're not. It looks like it's going to be Ed, Jesse, and then Mal in the 99. I'm going to wait for it to cycle out here. Mal, though, does have the speed. It looks like he was one of the first guys to pit. Two to land. Ed is going to lead again. Even from when he pit, he still led that lap. It looks like we got four, five, six, seven drivers up here. Actually, I think one's lap now. Well, that's the 12, not the 12's actually up here. My bad. I had to pull up the name list again because I was reading something from someone. 12 of Bobby Santos is up here now. It looks like Jesse Adams to the inside of Ed here for the race lead. And the second pack is about uh, about four, three and a half seconds back. But we got in the front pack Jesse Adams, Ed, the 90, uh, Ernie Rodriguez, Bowen Adams, Bobby Santos, Malenko, and Josh Harmon in the 87, who's trying to have another stellar average finish today. Ben Park, your points leader, it looks like he is back in eighth. Pauzy. Uh, looks like Dylan Rash, 97 of Barrett Compton, and Devin Zimmerman made a lot of spots up there. He was towards the back of the pack. You got a couple guys trying to strike a lot. You got Emerson, Daniel Voyles, Troy Salter, 31 of Michael, or Mitchell, sorry, Mitchell Hudak, and Sam Oscon. You got this pack. This is basically everybody else, it looks like. And you got a pack of... Nine back here. Reese was up front. I'm trying to look and see on that right side. It looks like he might have had damage. Maybe something happened going in the pit road. 
Yeah, it looks like he definitely has right side damage. The 16 to Christian Bracken also back there by themselves. They don't look like they have damage though, so maybe they just had a bad pit stop. But the 17 definitely looks like they got damage. So they stick with the front pack. Nobody really challenging. We'll just go back here and see if causing them are going to gain here. Coming to the line this next time by. 3.5. Where is it this time? 3.1. They are absolutely catching. Almost a half a second there. Four tenths. If they can keep this up, they'll get there before pit stops around 32 to 36. We will see though. They stay single file, they had a chance, but it doesn't look like they want to. Looks like Causey and Dylan Rash, they know what they're doing. Trying to catch back up to the front pack. Two point six five, yeah, they are absolutely I think they have the draft in the front group, maybe. So they're all double file three double or triple wide right now. Malenko though to the race lead. Bobby Santos got a lap lead. These guys are continuously battling. And with the draft here, they might catch a lot faster. As for the third group, this is the 31, I think. By himself, so it looks like the 10 maybe. They're about 7.4 back. Let's see for Kazi, 2.5 to 2.0. Absolutely almost a half a second a lap for these guys. The 31's like just hanging on to these guys, barely. It looks like he is kind of. That's for back here, this group, they're double file and everything, not being able to keep up. You need to get single file, work together to get back up there. I think this group's catching them. Christian back in the Aldo, your race leader. See what Kazi is this time in the three car. To the line. 1.64 tenths. A little less, but they definitely have the draft now. Let's bring Ben Park, your points leader, also back up into this. Malin, because they're looking for his first win. Also towards the bottom points, not having a good year. 28 out uh, Jesse Adams. I don't think he is either. Bobby Santos down in the 12. Now looking to the inside. Randy Rodriguez in the 93 wide for second place. As the second group has finally caught back up to this group. Malo going to lead another lap. Ernie Rodriguez up in the second. Josh Herman back to third. Second group finally caught up. I want to say to so remember behind the fires in 97, we got 16 cars then in this lead pack. So I think the 31 has unfortunately lost the draft of this group. Yeah, he has. He fell all the way back to the other group. Aldo hanging on for the moment to the race lead. Head now to the inside on the 90, Ernie Rodriguez. With no help, has a very strong car in that 9 car. And they're all single file on the bottom except for the three guys up top. Bobby Santos joins that top line. He's going to fall, unfortunately, to the back now. Add in the nine. Can they make a move? Have help from Jesse Adams and Ben Park, your points leader. Add to the inside. Getting pushed from the 28. Jesse Adams. Mel shafted to the high line. Ed now goes straight to the point. Here, Daytona. Coming around to lap 28. 
87 Herman looks like he almost got put up into the wall around by the 33 of Devin Zimmerman there. A lot of shuffling going on towards the back of this pack. 97 looks like they might lose this pack. Eventually, we might lap the 17 of Reese Schaefer also. <clears throat> and 16 of Bracken. Ben Park, though, caught up and he's going for the race lead again. He's trying to get his second win on here. He wants to extend that points lead even more now. 24 getting a really lucky average finish this year. But he has help from Troy Salter in the 18. Will he be able to hang on for the race in here? He did get that last line. He's going to get five bonus points. Not what any of the other drivers wanted to see with him already leading the points. Second, you're getting pushed by Daniel Boyles in the 30. The two yellow cars are working together quite well. Also, both have red numbers. Emerson, though, goes up, goes low, and now to the inside of the park for the race lead. Emerson said he wants the five bonus points. But he's on the back straightaway. He needs to keep in front of the 30. He needs to block going into the next turn to have a chance at it. Looks like he will. Three wide for third. Devin Zimmerman now in the 33. 20 laps to go here from Daytona. One more pit stop to come your way here within the next five laps, I would think. Five to six. Emerson gets his five bonus points on the day. Blacks is over Daniel Boyles. 33 Zimmerman gets shafted up higher. Now we got Dylan Rash back here up in the five car. He's he was strong so far this year too. Three wide now. Causey and three going for second place here. Emerson blocks the bottom. Nobody there to help him. They all are slowing each other down. Second group is not catching now. Or what used to be third group. Third group is not catching whatsoever. Emerson leads another lap. Causey up in the second. 97. And, uh, Barrett Compton also up here now. We actually have a lap car. Christian Bracken in the 16. We'll see what happens here when they go around the 16 car. Emerson's going to get shafted up high. 16 blocks the middle. Emerson, though, gets held up up top, and we're going to have a new leader of the 97 of uh, Barrett Compton here. 16 is still blocking them. I think the 16, the 16 is pitting. All by themselves slowed everybody up, but this is going to allow Causey to have a huge run of Barrett Compton here. Or Emerson or Mal. And they're three by three by three behind these four. Here comes Causey. What is he going to be able to do? Mal also has a big run in the 99 behind. The three of Mal, or three of Causey blocks Mal and Co. in the 99. Jesse Adams helping the 87. Josh Herman behind him. Three wide for the race lead. Mal all the way to the bottom there. And they are pitting here on lap 33. Almost all of this group. Emerson stays out. We'll see where he comes out compared to the guys that pit there. Remember, Causey was the leader going in. Four all by himself up front. And there's Adam. <coughs> Off of pit lane. I 
Whistler will be coming down. They will cross the line with 15 to go. They should be able to make it to the end. Hopefully. I think everybody should. But who knows. He's got Troy, Zimmerman, Voiles, and St. Moscow, and Dylan Rash all with him. Is he taking this stop? Four takes left. Looks like that's it. Coming off of Pit Road with the 18 and 33 here. They're all bunched up together, these five. So where are the guys on the track at? Still green, no yellow. <clears throat> Emerson Troy, there's the 97. In the 99, in the. Well, yep, just those three. I don't know what happened back here. Looks like Troy might have gotten hit by the 20 and Jesse Adams there. But it looks like 97 of Barrett Compton, 99 of Malenko are the two ahead at the moment. By themselves, looks like they have Christian Bracken. Troy Emerson maybe will be able to catch up. They're about 1.6 back. Jesse Adams is there. Devin Zimmerman by himself. And then you got a pack of about nine, six, seven, so maybe eight players. We'll see if they can catch up before the end of this thing. <coughs> Emerson needs to work with Troy and Jesse, but Troy looks like he got hit. We're going to go back and see if maybe Jesse or somebody hit him coming off of the lane there in the last lap. Looks like Jesse Adams did. Jesse goes side by side trying to pass the 16. Troy just pulls up a front. Luckily, neither of them wrecked. They got very lucky there. Could have been way worse, but Troy definitely is slower because of it. It seems like. We'll see if he can, you know, finish this race. Aldo as the leader. <clears throat> the 97. Barrett Compton. Emerson in the four also touching back up. They have a slow car. And Christian Bracken ahead of him. He needs to get around the 16 quickly. The 16 looks like they got a little bit of front end damage. Emerson needs help from Jesse in the 28. Looks like Emerson will clear. Jesse will go to the inside of the 16. And it should be four cars now battling. The second group is about 3.2 back. Troy is also up here. He's trying to keep pace. A damaged 18 car. Don't know if he's going to be able to. Emerson, though, caught up to these two with a big slingshot from the draft. Looking to the inside of the 97. Can't quite get there. Jesse trying to keep up. Also did hit the bag of the 18. Might make him slower a little bit. As we watch Kazi again leading the group, trying to catch back up. The 24 in this group, yep. The 43 and maybe the 33. There was a time they definitely did catch up. We'll be hitting 11 to go here this time by. <coughs> Nobody out of the race. One person a lap down. <coughs> so the inside goes Ernie Rodriguez or Brandon Santos. Bobby Santos, sorry. In the 12. We got a new race leader. Emerson got to the inside of Malenko with help from the 97 of Barrett Compton. <coughs> 10 laps to go here. And 
these guys are absolutely gonna catch up. They caught the 16 of Christian Brick and now they're gonna put their car three wide. Blocks Herman on the high line, unfortunately. Three wide now with Daniel Voyle is getting the uh, bad end of it. Ponzi all by himself now pulling away from these guys. <coughs> 1.7 to 1.2. Yep, that whole group has caught. Can Emerson now hang on to this race win possibly? So he's let a lot of laps here now. At least three or four. <clears throat> well, Mal makes a move to 97. Bear Compton makes a move to the inside. <clears throat> Emerson's still clear. Everybody else is caught up. We got about. I don't know if the 87 will get back up there, but 33 is Zimmerman. Back in 13th, we got at least 13, maybe 14 if the 87 gets back up here. We'll see how the other groups are doing. A lot of single drivers. We've got a huge pack towards the back. Angel in 23rd. You got a pack about 7. Trying to catch up to the main group with Ed leading that. I mean, the main car had a bad stop. He's about 4.3 back. Here comes Kazi for second place in the three. Let's see where that other group is, though. They are catching. Will they get here before the end? If they keep knocking half a second off, they should. Emerson now hanging on to the race league plate. There comes Kazi, dies down to the inside. Gonna get help. That was good save from the 90 Rodriguez, but he goes to the outside to help the four. They are not getting a run. Here comes Bone Adams now being pushed by Jesse Adams. And Bobby Santos on the 12. They lost half a second that time. That second group might not catch now. It looks like everybody's still in the race for the moment. We might. Yep, we're going to catch Reese Schaefer here. That might shake up this group. <coughs> We're coming to six to go here this time by. This might help the 33 of Devin Zimmerman catch back up to the group. He blocks the whole line. How are they going to get around the 17? Well, as he goes to the inside, Bowen follows. Bowen now goes behind the 17 car. Jesse going to leave him out to dry. The 17 now holding up that 43 point a bit. Here comes Bobby Santos now in the 12. Also up here with the 28 of Jesse Adams. They caught a little bit. Bone, or not Bone, uh, Bobby Santos looked to make a move there in the 28, but couldn't quite get there. <coughs> Daniel Voyles in 30 makes a move. He's going to go up into third because the 12 wasn't making a move at all. Looks like the 17 has speed. He has no business being up here. Unfortunately for Reese, a lap down, that's not going to be helpful for him. Adam. 
Williams. And so Daniel Williams now looking for second position here. No help behind. The damage 18 behind him now. <clears throat> and the 30 get a run though by himself here. Still quite a bit behind the three. Causing blocks the bottom. As the 30 still has no help. Damage car Troy trying to hang on to the top five. As we come to three laps to go here this time by. <clears throat> Wales, the 18 of Troy finally behind him now. Is that going to give him enough of a push, hopefully, to get up there? Thirty though goes to the high line. He needs to get back down in front of the 18 to have a chance. He does. He's got the draft of the three car now. Will Voyles make a move on the three? Tries to, but gets blocked by the three car. Here comes Sam Oscar to the zero with the 90 Ernie Rodriguez. They're getting around. They shifted the slow car of the 18 to the top. <clears throat> Two laps to go here in Daytona. Wales now has a zero behind him. Oscon to the inside getting pushed by Ernie, but we got a slow car of the 16. That allows Sam to get up there. That's going to hold up Emerson back there. <coughs> Can the zero or the ninety get past the three Akazi here? Once he took the lead, he never gave it up. Sam looking, can't quite do anything with it. Adam coming off the pit road. Looks like some people had to pit. Oscon all by himself trying to catch the three now. Can he do it? Because they're all three wide behind him. Slowing each other up. Is there Oscon? Can he get the run? Can he get to the inside of the three? Oscon is there. Can he make a move? No, he cannot. Causey blocks. Causey's going to win here in Daytona. Over Oscon, Brandon, or er, <coughs> er, er, Barrett Compton, Andy Wells gets fourth. Top five for it looks like the 90, Ernie Rodriguez. Six for Jesse Adams. Seventh, Troy. Eighth, Emerson. Ninth is Bobby Santos. And tenth, and point leader Ben Park and Bowen Adams. Eleventh. And as for the rest of your. Everybody else is still finishing, it looks like. It looks like some of the grease might have ran out of gas or something. I'll be back with the points. Right, hey guys, welcome back to the uh, results. Causey gets his first win in the year. Led eight laps here today. And gained ten points over the la uh, two behind him. Uh, Barrett Compton. Also led two laps, got the same amount of points, the same odds, kind. Uh, Adams, Jesse Adams led three. Emerson Arden led eight. One for Santos. Two for uh, Ben Park, your, race, your points leader. We'll see where he is with that. Um, Malenko led seven. Eleven for Ed Shearer. Two for Colin Cropley. Three for Hubert. And three for Reese Schaefer, who all unfortunately fell all the way back. Uh, as for awards, Devin Smith had pole front rudder was uh, Ed Shearer met the challenge to prove 35 places. Ernie Rodriguez in the 90. A uh, headache was Reese uh, lost 36 and diehard racer Christian Bracken will generate those files and get over to the points. After four races, Ben Park still the points leader. Daniel Voiles moves up to second in the points, 73 back of Ben. Uh, Harmon. 91 back, lost the spot. Kaze gained 7 with his win up into the top 4, 93 points back. 
<clears throat> we'll go through the rest of this. Uh, top five: James Bush, Lingerfeld, Emerson, Adam, Perez, and Anthony Tom or er, Annie Thomas. Your biggest gainer looks like Compton. Uh, plus 15. No, Oscon plus 16. Up in the 19th in the points. Uh, your biggest loser, Campos and Devin Smith, minus 12. I don't think anybody else up here had that minus 10 for Bracken. Uh, for your winners, your lowest winner right now, Christian Bracken, down to 18th in the points. <clears throat> As for everything else, statistics. Let's go to your wins. We've had five, four different winners now. Bush, Causey, Bracken, and Hodak. Top fives, Ben, Causey, and Sam Oscon. Top tens, Ben, Causey, Herman, uh, Gardner, and Voiles. Polls, four different poll winners. Gutierrez, Carlos Gutierrez, Dylan Rash, Devin Smith, James Bush. Laps led, Ben Park leading that with 78. James Bush, 53, 41 for Dylan. Devin Smith has 18, 12 for uh, Carlos Gutierrez. Uh, fastest average looks like Daytona had that one and most lead yeah most leaders with 11 and that's about it uh, we'll go back to the points as for that we will see you guys next time uh, I'm not even sure next time at Phoenix peace out